Okay, hi, uh, YouTube people. The uh, with the freedom of speech thing and the uh, the crazy riots over there in uh, most of the other Muslim-dominated countries, uh, I had a, a, a new thing to talk about, and the reason why is uh, there was a news story that uh, they're thinking about the criminalization of the defamation of religion. And uh, in some ways, uh, they pose an argument that makes me think, eh, hey, maybe this is a good idea. Like, uh, one of the arguments is that uh, one of our famous things is, is you shouldn't yell fire in a crowd, crowded movie theater. Because obviously for you people that don't know our our idioms, the the insane drive to get out of the burning theater, which really isn't burning, would cause people to be in, injured and maybe die on the way out. So uh, that is what we consider not a uh, valid use of the freedom of speech. And uh, one could easily make the relationship between that statement and the resultant and uh, the statements that have been made recently and the resulting riots and murders that are going on in the Middle East. And uh, I, I think that that's, a, uh, that's something that sounds good at first but is not valid. And uh, here's, the, here's the thinking I got. Okay, um, in the uh, calling fire in a crowded movie theater, um, there's a very real threat of death if there is a fire. And people wouldn't be able to t detect that, uh, that being a false statement at first. So because of how fast fires spread, you would take the safe side of escaping the theater. So in, in the one case, you have a very real threat of death. And uh, in the other case, like when it comes to uh, somebody insulting Muhammad and insulting Islamic religion, uh, that's not a real threat of any kind. That's, that's an irritating thing that should be ignored because it's, it's baseless and stupid and anybody that's even seen the trailer wonders how this thing became a story in the first place. So, so no, I don't believe that insulting a religion is equivalent to crying fire in a crowded theater. Um, and uh, getting back to the defamation of uh, religion. So defamation, as I understand it from Webster's Dictionary, is when you're, you're slandering, you're lying about something to make it look worse in, in a public way. You're damaging somebody or something. Okay, so I can understand uh, defamation in a way uh, like uh, if, if somebody were to say, say uh, that uh, Jesus said uh, he's going to kill everybody that doesn't do things his way. That seems like an obvious defamation of Christianity, but uh, isn't there some credibility to uh, the story in Christianity that Jesus will one day come again and reign in glory and judge the living and the dead? So at that point, he's going to take everybody that didn't follow his rules, kill them all, well, sort of, send them to hell, suffering forever. So. Uh, Maybe he's not killing everybody because they're living forever and suffering, but uh, wouldn't it make the first statement that Jesus said he was going to kill everybody more true? You know, so is it really defamation of religion? Okay, so that's that's one point. It's religions are kind of vague with their statements, so it's hard to defame them. It's hard to prove defamation to begin with. But here's my second point. Um, all religions. All religions require faith. Their books and statements that are, are almost always unprovable claims or, or extremely outrageous statements and 
and then a whole bunch of other uh, philosophies that often would make the world a better place if everybody lived by them. So you got this this book of philosophy and crazy stories that have to be believed because they cannot be proved. Okay, so this is the thing that we're worried about defamation of. Um, but Star Wars, a uh, series that I loved as a child. I watched the, the first three, which was four, five, six, and thought they were the best thing that were ever created. Um, now, the, uh, the Star Wars stories have remarkable claims that if you were going to believe them to be true, you would have to accept it on faith. So, uh, like a lightsaber. Uh, nobody's ever really seen one, and lots of people say it can't be made, but that's not provable. Someday somebody might invent one. Engineers are clever. Time goes on. So we might one day have lightsabers. So maybe there were somewhere in outer space. Maybe it is a true story, right? So it's this can't be proven thing. Some of the concepts in the Star Wars movie, if used by society at large, would make the world a better place. So how do we separate uh, religion and Star Wars? These are both fantastic stories that, that, if to be believed, to be true, would have to be accepted on faith. And uh, you would never, ever, ever consider somebody saying uh, defamation of fictional stories should be uh, against the law. I mean, nobody would want to arrest and jail somebody or, or, or arrest and fine somebody uh, punitively for claiming Luke Skywalker was really gay and he uh, was incestuous, which <laughs> with the loving Princess Leia in the early ones kind of hinted at incest. So, so I shouldn't go to jail, and uh, Star Wars geeks, they can march around and have a, a, you know, a little angry mob yelling at me for daring to say that Luke Skywalker was gay, you know, but they, sh you know, there shouldn't be a law against me saying it, and uh, it should not be tolerated if they destroy anybody's property or hurt anybody during their riots over the how dare he say Luke Skywalker was gay moment. Um, so that, that kind of summarizes what I was going to say here on, uh, on freedom of speech and, uh, and religions. Uh, another thing though, uh, the, the people that are real concerned with this, uh, I think they're insulting all religious people when there's when they're saying that uh, you shouldn't shouldn't say things like that, you shouldn't insult people's religions. It's like uh, it's like the signs at the zoo that say "Don't tap the glass." You'll irritate the monkeys. You know um, that's that's where we're saying, "Oh, it's a primitive uh, species, and uh, it's going to react a certain way if you do this. So just don't do that, right?" And I don't think we should be saying that all people of a certain religion or a location or whatever are uh, some way incapable of handling uh, tapping on their glass. So, uh, you know, I don't know, I, I would never, ever, ever, I, I think the guy that wrote that Innocence of Muslims movie is a total shitbird and he should be treated about as good as any other sociopathetic, mass murdering, insane person should be handled about that way. You know, nobody wants to talk to Charles Manson or listen to him anymore. And so that's, that's how you handle somebody that says something or does something as, uh, as insane as that uh, Innocence of Muslims film. You don't riot over it. You don't murder people at embassies over it. That's that's crazy. That's that's crazy, crazy, crazy. 
So if you're Muslim and you're mad about it, don't encourage the riot. Discourage the riot because you're not helping anybody. You're just giving cover for your worst elements to commit murders and drag you down into the whole frame. And I think that's where I'm going to stop.